Hello everyone, it's Miss Patty from the Gosstown Public Library, and here we are, if you can believe it, our last Fairy Tale Friday of the summer. I can't believe how quickly it's gone by. I have so enjoyed reading these stories to you, these quick, quick fairy tale hits um, on Fridays this summer, and I think I'm going to miss them a little bit. But I am excited about the story that I'm going to be reading you as our last one for the summer. It's one of my favorites, if not my favorite, fairy tale from when I was a little girl. And I'm kind of hoping, as I've said with other stories before I've read them, that you've not heard it before. This one is called Rumpelstiltskin. Can you say that? Rumpelstiltskin. Say that five times fast. I don't know that I could. So anyway, here we go. The story of Rumpelstiltskin. Once upon a time, there was a miller who boasted to the king that his daughter could spin straw into gold. Oh, really, said the king, then bring her to me. Such a skill will be very useful in my palace. The miller's daughter came to the palace. She was horrified to learn what her father had been saying. Here is a room full of straw, my dear, said the king. If it is not spun into gold by morning, you shall die. So the poor girl was locked up in a large storeroom with lots of straw and a spinning wheel. She had no idea what to do, so she burst into tears. Suddenly, a funny little man appeared and asked what was the matter. When she told him, he said, what will you give me if I do it for you? My necklace, said the girl, and the little man agreed. The little man set to work and soon the room was full of reels of gold. The miller's daughter looked on in amazement. In the morning, the little man disappeared. When the king came in, he was delighted with the girl, but he was greedy. So he gave her an even larger room full of straw to turn to gold. The girl was even more desperate. Then, as if by magic, the little man appeared again. What will you give me this time, he asked. The girl gave him her ring. But on the third night, when she was locked in a huge barn, she had nothing left to give the little man. I'll take your firstborn child if you marry the king, he said. And marry the king was just what the girl did because he was so pleased with all the gold. He never asked the girl to spin any more gold, but a year later, she gave him something more precious a baby son. Uh-oh. I suspect this is where things start to go south, as they say. The queen had forgotten all about her promise to the little man. Then one day he appeared and demanded the baby. She was so upset that he took pity on her and said, if you can guess my name within the next three days, you may keep the child. For two frantic days, the queen guessed, Casper, big ears, bottle nose, but nothing was right. So she sent her servants out far and wide to search for unusual names. The next day, a servant came back and said he had seen a funny little man capering around a fire in the forest singing, I'll win the baby and the game, Rumpelstiltskin is my name. So when the little man came back, the queen said, is your name Wayne? Is it Darren? Is it perhaps Rumpelstiltskin? The little man jumped up and down with rage. Who told you? Who told you? He roared, stamping his foot on the ground so hard that it went straight through. He disappeared and was never seen again. That's a relief, because I'm not sure that Rumpelstiltskin would be fit to raise a baby. What do you think? That is the end of that story. So if you have been participating in our Read Squared Summer Online Program, and you've been entering um, reading activities and secret codes and completing missions, then I know at this point you're waiting to hear what the secret code is for this video. The secret code, drum roll, for this video, watching it, 
is simply gold uppercase letters G O L D gold so if you enter that into your read squared account you will earn some points just for watching and listening to the story today if you have no idea what I'm talking about but would like to er learn more about read squared please reach out to me via email at patty p at goffstownlibrary.com that's patty with an I not a Y or you can just give me a call directly at the library that's it for today. I hope you all have a fabulous weekend and enjoy the rest of your summer. Take care.